Edit your photos using AI. Hello my friends, how are you doing? Playground has just added a new feature that's pretty cool and allows you to edit your photos using text to image AI. And it works really simple. When you click on create and have the normal UI, up here you have a new link to import an image. So when you click on that, you can simply upload a photo you want to edit. And after that, you can see here that this UI has been optimized for editing these photos. So on the left side you only have the prompt and the negative prompt on the right side you have some sliders but not too many other choices let's write for example sunglasses and click on generate you can see that this will create a version of the image where the girl is wearing sunglasses however you can also see that there are more changes introduced so when you have the image side by side you see that now the background has more of a blue sky now this is of course an early version here and I think that in a later version we are going to get the ability to mask areas of the image so this is only applied to the areas you actually want to change. Now a good thing here is that you can see up here you have a save changes button which means that you can create as many versions as you want until you're happy and then apply them by clicking save change and this will be saved to your gallery. When you mouse over the image, you also have a button here for edit this image. When you click on that, this will now load the edited version and you can start from there, which is kind of like a loop where you can step by step edit the image in different ways. I've already tried out different things you can do with this new technique and here are some inspirations. So for example, if you write a prompt and say, make it black and white plus orange, this will remove all of the other colors and just leave the orange in the image. And when you compare it to the original, you can see that the effect works pretty well. Another idea is to make it into the style of an oil painting. Now here I would suggest that you set the guidance scale higher while you set the image strength a little bit lower. Here we have a sepia black and white photography. It's more like a vintage. There's a little bit of color left as you look here on the shirt. So it gives a really nice look. Of course, you can do more than just portraits. So here we have a landscape photo that I turned from the photo to an autumn scene. And here's a second version where I turned this into a sunset. You can also do other fun things. So for example, here I turned that street scene into a manga art cyberpunk scene. So that new photo editing function has a lot of potential and is especially useful because you can upload an image directly into that interface. One thing I want to warn you about though is that if there is text in that photo, like in this case, the text is probably getting jumbled up by the AI editing process. Check out this new function on Playground and post your results in my Facebook group or my Discord. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah. <laughs>